Those are the headlines we've been tracking for you this evening. Apps for Bharat, the parent company of devotion platform Sri Mandir, has raised $17.8 million in its Series B round of funding. Now, the round was led by Fundamentum and also saw participation from Saskina Asia VC as well as existing investors, Elevation Capital, Peak 15 and Miraya Asset VC. Now, the funds will be utilized to scale the Sri Mandir apps, India and international operations. And to elaborate more, joining me now is Apps for Bharat's co-founder and CEO Prashant Sachan. Prashant, welcome to Startup Street. Now, you know, Sri Mandir caters to the devotional and spiritual needs of people. Since your launch in 2021, Sri Mandir has seen over 30 million app downloads. Can you describe your average user, where they are from, and what is the average spent on a daily basis? And also, what kind of traffic comes in on peak days? Thank you so much uh, for having me here. The users on the platform uh, are anyone, everyone who believes in India's devotion practices, for example. So we see people coming from uh, tier one towns, which is primarily metro cities. And we also see people coming from smaller towns. Uh, roughly 25% of um, our uh, engaged user on, on our services comes from outside of India. So we see a spectrum, this whole spectrum of people who believe um, in these cultural practices are the ones who keep using the platform. And just to give you perspective, right? Uh, last year, roughly 5 lakh of these users made 27 lakh offerings or pujas on the platform. That's the kind of scale we are operating at at this point in time. Sure. And what about the uh, peak seasons, uh, the Navratris and the special occasions? Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll give you a, a quick view of how people pray in India. So uh, typically what we realize is it's a very strong weekly behavior. So if you believe in a certain God, mm. you would keep coming every Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday, depending on what you what you believe in. Now, these festivals or important tithis are important activation movements, for example. So let's say if it is, let's say Pitta Pakshi is starting tomorrow. So, yeah. so you'll see a lot of people who would uh, say that, hey, I would, this is an important time. I would want to participate. So we definitely see very large peaks during these festive months or important tithis. Uh, so yeah, I think, uh, and and the idea is that can we provide can we provide value to these people on on all of these events and all of these occasions? All right, Prashant, you know, if you could elaborate on the business model, give us a sense of your price range. How much does it really cost to use the app and the various services that you offer? Uh, also, tell us what kind of revenues have you already clocked in? What is the cash burn? Sure. So help, let me help you understand who how is a user using the platform. So when a user comes on the app he would open the app and pray. So let's say it is Tuesday, he would pray to Lord Hanuman's digital temple on the app. If he has more time, he would engage in digital content. Now, what do people do in the offline? What is what people also replicate on the app? So it's an important day. They would say, hey, let me let me make an, make an offering of a basket of flour at an important temple. Let's say Hanuman Gadi in Ayodhya. So what the app helps you do is you can make an offering of a basket of flour in your family's name in Hanuman Gadi Ayodhya. And what we go on to do is our priest will go there, who is a partner priest from that temple. He will make an offering, record a video, take your name, send the blessing back to you. Now, this is one use case, which is called Chadhawa. There's another use case called as Puja. So there are many of these uh, rituals and Pujas happening at these temples and pilgrimages. We curate these experiences and you as a user from wherever you are can participate digitally. And what you get back you, uh, is, is a video of the whole process and sure. you'll also get a Prashad box. So okay. this is how the offerings look like. All right, let's get to the fundraise now. Prashant, with the fresh funds raised, you plan to onboard new temples, launch new services, and you know basically strengthen your tech stack. So if you could elaborate on these plans, what new services are you looking to add? Yeah. So one, we are going to launch our spiritual and devotional experiences um, as a new vertical. Uh, we are going to onboard new temples. Today, we have 50, 50 temples on the platform. We are going to make it 10x in a year's time. The idea is to further scale our India and international operations because there's a lot of demand that is coming our way. And the last part is this company has to do a lot more. The temple ecosystem is, I would say, in terms of tech savviness, is, is a bit behind. So we have to build a comprehensive tech stack to bring all of them up to speed and be able to provide all of these offerings digitally. So these are the four areas where we're going to spend time and energy on. Uh, and I think that's that will enable things for the temples and the users uh, sure. in, in an equal way.
All right, you know, Prashant, I believe there are plans to facilitate uh, special darshan tickets, uh, providing delivery of prasad and other related dev uh, devotional goods. Uh, will you also get into the hyper-local delivery model uh, to take this forward? What will the vertical look like? And are you already in talks with partners? No, so, uh, I think whatever it will take for us to serve the devotees better hmm. is what we are going to do. So, Prashad delivery is already under pilot at this point in time. We'll start doing that a bit more. Uh, uh, we'll launch it for the larger audience. And if the requirement comes that that will need a hyper-local commerce enablement or quick commerce enablement, we'll do that. Prashad, we are pressed for time. Wish you the very best in your mission to build a spiritual tourism ecosystem. Many thanks for joining us on Startup Street uh, today. Thank you. Thank you. And moving on.